Hello and welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and as always I'm Carboot Chris and we've got Bargain Belle here. She's a little bit rough at the minute, aren't you? Well, she's always a bit rough but a bit rougher she's a rough. bit more rough than yeah. normal today. Um, but uh, thanks everyone for joining us. Appreciate you coming along for this, what is going to be a very, very interesting uh, live show. <laughs> Um, let's hope you enjoy it. So, who have we got in? Uh, we have DMH Products, Tory, Alan Starbuck, Andrew, Rebecca Turner. She says, um, well, Andrew said the future saviour of the nation is here. And Rebecca's response is... Boris she, is back. <laughs> Re Rebecca's response is she thought Barty and Cookie were saving the nation with cuteness. I certainly agree. Uh, we have Peter Ray in. Hi, Peter. Carl, Phil Carl Phillips. Uh, Georgine is in. Hopefully sporting her hat in the background. Yeah, I hope you're wearing your hat for this show. Uh, uh, we have Fred Chapman, Oliver Fred. Ian, Stu Mandry. Ooh, lots and lots of people saying hello. Trotters into, into eBay traders. Gary Nicholson. Have we managed to capture everybody? Get in there, 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 get in there. Resell a kid, as you've seen. Get in there. Nathan Powers in. Nicky Irvine. Is that a new one? Have we heard of Nicky before? I think I've heard that name. Okay. Dave Repairs. They changed his name. Dave changed his name. Oh, apparently I have to speak up a little bit. You do? Yeah. said speak up a little bit, love. Sorry, this is about the limit I can do. I can manage today without my head exploding. Uh, yes, we have the reseller kid in. He's uh, listening while listening and watching. Good on you, lad. More than Chris can do. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Testing one, two, three. We have a Darren Hawkins in. Chop, chop, busy, busy. Oh, lots of people and... in. Have you caught Richie up? Richie Pickens. Yes. And we're done. We're at the bottom. Nice one. Well done. Can you hear us okay? I mean, I'm, do I need to alter the volume in any way? If it's just me, then don't worry. I'm just not going to talk today, if you can believe that. That should be picking you up all right. It's, it should be. It's a pretty good yeah. mic. Uh, Nikki Irvine says, I've been here before. Day I usually Dylan. sit in the corner. Hey. Nikki said, they've been here before, but they usually sit in the corner. Okay. They're a lurker. They're a curtain twitcher. That's all right. We like them. No, it's fine. It's fine, but don't don't be afraid to say hello. We don't bite. Yeah, but we're... don't also don't feel like you have to like comment and put stuff in the chat. It is nice for us to say hello and speak to you, but we don't mind you just watching either. If you're a watcher. Dave Repair says yes. It's Dave from Devon. Ah, okay. Um, oh, Georgina says it's a little quiet, but not too bad. Oh, okay. Tori said sound is great. Okay. Well, turn your volume up then. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, I think most people are saying that they can hear us. It's okay. Let me just put it up one notch on there and see if that helps. We've got Al, I'm feeling supersonic in as well now. Said, yo, I'm late. Have I missed out? No. Just nope. everybody saying hello. We're, so, just, we're just saying hello to everyone. Sorting out the sounding. Is Chris talking? I've only got eyes for Belle. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Oh, shucks. So anyway, so what are we doing today? Well, I've got some jerseys to show you, some baseball jerseys, which we'll go into in a bit, and I'll tell you all about how I came across those. Um, what else are we going to do? We're going to take any questions that you've got in the chat. If you've got a subject that you want us to broach and talk about, then feel free to mention it. Um, we're... Um, what else have we got? That's it, isn't it? Nothing else, really? No. Maybe something a bit later. <laughs> so stay tuned because uh, we've got something. Lucas B has just subscribed. Hello. Hi, Lucas. Welcome Hello. to the family. Um, yeah, so we're, we're late, a bit later on in our live, um, we're going to premiere something. 
and it's the first time anyone has seen this. No one in our family have even seen this video yet. Pretty and there's sure a pretty good reason why. I'm pretty sure we're going to be disowned after this. We might have to go into hiding. <laughs> uh, Paradox Pickers is in now. Hello. Hello. Um, oh, what's that? That's uh, uh, crazy. Kaz Ka oh, perennial said crazy Carl. Kazzy Carl. Carl. That's are you new to the chat? Is that the new one? Kazzy yeah, Carl. Yeah. I don't. Sure. I don't think I've DBG's seen it. DBG's in. Hi, DBG. Um, okay, so it's going to be viral. <laughs> Yeah, about as viral as the pandemic, I think. It'd be it'd be funny <laughs> if it did, but I'm, I'm certainly yeah. Put it one way: if it's one thing from the pandemic you're going to remember, it'll be this. Yeah. <laughs> the moment Chris and Bell went crazy. What's that song where it goes like? I've I got know a song, a song that'll that go, get, on, get your on your nerves. nerves yeah, get on your nerves, that's it. Get on your nerves. Everyone's going to be singing it now in the chat. All right, Please. shut up! You're getting on my tits. <laughs> um. Mr. Diggs has dropped in. Nice of you to join us. You're seven minutes, 25 seconds late, Adrian. Paradox Picker says I'm going to have it as my ringtone. Oh, please do. Please do. It would be so funny. <laughs> so funny. Um, Mr. Diggs is in. Drinking on Tuesdays. What's that all about? Can I pre-order the CD, Oliver Ian? Signed. That's because he didn't get his cap signed. All oh, right. Have you been flogging Bell's knickers again, Chris? Oh, is this... No, this is something completely different, Alan. <laughs> completely different. You've obviously not heard the brought... chatter. I was going to say we brought the bar up since then, but I'm pretty sure this is lower oh, than God, selling no. my knickers. No, this is not bringing the bar up. <laughs> this is madness. What we're about to do is uh, social... I was going to say suicide, but it's probably not appropriate. Social madness. I don't yeah. know. Question. At the minute, I'm buying large bags for packaging my games media. Do you recommend I buy specific bags for packing games media? Thanks. Um, well, if you're always doing the same kind of size stuff, then get the Jiffy bags that are uh, the right size um, for, you know, games and stuff. Because that way you can be sure that you can... Well, you can try and... The lighter it is, the better, because then you can try and get under that 100 gram uh, mark for Royal Mail. Do we have Royal any um, regular media gaming people that send stuff out that could tell them what they use? Well, Andrew does loads of media. Um, who else does media? I know Andrew does, um, so he'll probably advise him better. Um, but I, I, I would try and get ones that fit... Um, fit the like PS2 sizes, DVD sizes, because that PS2 size, uh, sorry, PS2, yeah, PS2, PS4, Xbox, all the same size. It's a multitude of sins, um, and you can get them for pence if you if you go on eBay or whatever and look for bulk uh, bulk supplies. It costs pence each. I must have missed someone said hi. Oh yeah, there, woo woo's in. Woo woo. Yeah, woo woo's anti sexism. Uh, Reese Lucas says he wants them to go as a large letter. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. The, there's a size. Andrew will tell you what it is. I make, can't remember. Make it happen. That's what we're doing today, isn't it? Making it happen. No, that one's too small. Yeah, that would. That size would fit um, most games and DVDs. I've not... Have I got one to hand? Is there one on the floor there? Just grab one. Not that I'm going to yeah. be able to reach down. Ooh. Hey up. Show. Hey up. While you're down there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Most will fit into that. So it's a nice tight fit. Mm. Tight fit. <laughs> nice and snug. Mm -hmm. The lightest possible. Um, so that you try and get under the 100 gram mark because that's the all nice important. nice and safe and secure. We need to think of cheap, safety first. Cheap postage. Mm. Um, Alan Starbuck said, sorry Chris about the confusion over Hermes price rise. Oh, don't apologise. Don't worry. I, I, um... It was me who shouted it to you up the stairs. All right. No, because did you see Alan's post in the Monumental Group? Because he was concerned about a, it being a bigger hike. Oh, yes, yes, I do, yeah. But um, that's because he was using, um, like, Pack Link or yeah, Parcel to Go or something. Yeah. And they have different prices. Uh, even though they use Hermes, they have different prices. 
Carl B says Andrew has links on his YouTube. Uh, that's where I got my packaging stuff. Oh, okay. So there you go. Go take a look on Andrew's YouTube. Yeah. Uh, thanks. I you could. There's they... a link on my YouTube as well, so you can use that if you want. But you know, I do get about three p back if you do it. <laughs> Oliver Ian says, uh, Andrew, are you going to bring out a single to rival Chris and Bell? Ooh. Ooh, we've got a, a chart topping battle. The thing not? is, they've not heard ours. They well, don't realise how easy that that would just be the case to do. Or maybe they don't realise how Barty good how good ours out. is. Barty could bring out a single that's going to be better than ours. Uh, Paradox Picker says, "I use size D, I think, and then cut them in half. Can also send two games." As... Right, I get you. Yeah, yeah. If you get the slightly the bigger envelopes, you can put them side by side. Mm-hmm. Nikki Irvine says, "Have you recorded your own version of Michael Jackson's Heal the World with Cookie as your backing singer? If we'd have done that, Cookie would have been the lead singer. That's all I can say. Put that. it this way: Cookie, <laughs> Cookie can sing better than Annabelle. Yeah, she can. I'm not going to. And me probably." That. I'm not going to I say probably. Uh, right. Uh, oh, Carl, it doesn't matter. Um, just use whatever link. You know, it's... Just use Andrew's link if you're happy. You know, do what you like. It's... It doesn't really make much odds. We have... A, we, we all pretty much have affiliate links on our YouTubes, but you make... Pe- you don't make anything from them anyway. It's not important. Hmm. Nikki says that um, he's mentioned uh, Oliver. I think we're onto a winner. Might need some kids to make it viral, though. That's what we need. We need some kids to pick it up and think, "How cheesy is this? Let's pass it on to our mates and show them how ridiculous it is." Let's not talk about it, right? Because we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> this, you know, this is the only reason people have joined us today. This is all they want. I know. I know. All they want. Well, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to sit through some chatter with us. Is that our door? Mm, no. Know. If it is, dog would have gone. If it is thing. around here, they're probably just dropping a cauliflower off for us. Yeah, probably. Got my bags up, taking that. How's everyone's sales been? I had a decent weekend. I dropped off twenty-five parcels this morning. I'm, I meant to add up total sales, but I forgot. So I don't, I'm not sure what the total sales are, but. It's probably average sale price is twenty pound at the moment. So if we went off average sale price, what's that? Five hundred quid, something like that. So, and I think I listed four hundred and fifty of that. Yeah, I mean, and <laughs> what I've got, what at the moment, I tend to be listing the newer stock that we come in. Annabelle's working through the death piles, but what she's doing is she's putting on loads of plush toys at the moment, and they're going, aren't they? Probably. Over the last two weeks, all the plush toys you've been putting on, probably 30% of them are sold. So three out of every ten she's put on is, is, has gone already. And we've been doing really well with plush toys, mm. which is good because they take up a lot of space. And we've got a lot of them. Yeah, we have. That we, was mainly what was stored in the attic when we yeah. emptied it out, wasn't we've it? We've got boxes and boxes of it. Um, I've listed another four today. Yeah, that's good. I mean, what, what Annabelle's trying to do is sort of list maybe three or four a day for me out of the death piles um, just to help me out because that's a big help in the morning. If I can put those, what Annabelle did yesterday, on in the morning, it gives me like a head start on my numbers. So, Because I always try to aim for 15 listings a day and if I can do any more than 15, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, that's a pretty good number. <laughs> Sorry, said so put it on TikTok. I am not TikToking anywhere. I am not jumping oh, on that, that bandwagon. Not TikTok and bloody Snapchat. I hate hate those two. Uh, Paradox Pick said sales have been really good, but running out of stock now. I'm not going to run out of stock anytime Ever. soon. No, <laughs> I haven't finished putting on the um, cycling jerseys, but um, they're selling on a regular basis now. I sold four at the weekend, so I sold nearly a hundred pounds worth. Of cycling jerseys at the weekend um, so they're ticking over really nicely uh, I've still got the retro jackets to finish off um, I've now got this big bundle of baseball jerseys which we'll get onto in a minute at the weekend I had delivered a job lot of Jurassic Park toys which I put on Instagram I've got some Doctor Who minifigures to go on um, 
and a few other bits. So I'm and all the death pile stuff. I've got tons, <laughs> which I'm not boasting about. I'm just saying I've got tons of stock. I always have had loads like of stuff. We've had years, years and years of yeah. collecting it and not listing it. That's the problem. The the death piles are five years worth of yeah. stock that that have we've allowed to build up. Um, Kyle B said twenty five. Well done. He said seven. Um, Georgina says TikTok is sucking so much of my time. I just don't get it, TikTok. There was something. You remember that app? There was something similar to TikTok, wasn't there? You know, when we did it a couple of times, when you mined to, to yeah, something. Yeah, there's, there's been a few different ones, but TikTok's mm. the the new one, isn't it? Uh, reseller kids are here. Had seven sales over the weekend. He's really pleased with that. He aims for one sale a day. Yeah, I mean that's, that's all you've brilliant. got to start with. If you can do one a day, that's thirty ish a month. Um, you know, it's it's good. Build it's it from there. It's money in your pocket. It's money in your pocket. Uh, Oliverine says, were you dressed like you were robbing the place again, Chris? No, I didn't do the mask today because think that that post went out wrong because I didn't tag Chris in it to begin with. The first couple of oh, comments, the one on monumental. Yeah, the first couple of comments. I think people thought I was just like being a right sort of weirdo, no, randomly it? taking some photograph of somebody stood in the queue. <laughs> Which no, um, the little local that was actually quite a big queue. There was three people waiting to get in when I when she took that po photograph. Normally, when we get there, there's no one in it. I can go straight in, and there's only one in, one out. Um, so the the mask really is it's not really necessary in it that was situation. The first day we'd got them. Yeah, so you I just to wanted try to try. It. It. I just wanted to feel how much of an idiot I felt. You're gonna um, wear it tomorrow at Tesco, oh, aren't you? I'm going Tesco tomorrow. A big Tesco for a shop. Uh, I'm definitely wearing the mask and the gloves there because they don't give... And I'm putting them in bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Most people, I'm telling you now, last time I went there, the most people in there did not give a damn how close they were to you. The, I was looking at something on a shelf, two people come right up close, grab this, grab that. Yeah. I'm like, just wait. They do, all the, they do all the distance queuing, then when you get in there, it's a free-for-all. I mean, the supermarkets themselves have been really good. They're dead organised. <laughs> Um, it's super, um, what do you call it, clean and every all the handles are cleaned, but it's the customers that are the problem. Uh, Nick Irvine said, stop selling because I'm shielding, but thinking about using Patlink and getting collections. Getting collections, yeah. Quite a few people are using collections at the minute. Yeah, we've got Joan in now. Hi, Joan. Hi, Joan. Dave Repair says, Royal Mail update, the van didn't fill to the top today, but nearly. However, we had loads of additional trolleys full of full at the depot, so yet again, Christmas levels. We think our postman was like, had wet the bed, didn't we? Because he was up before we were this morning, I think. Yeah, he was here early. He was here early, early. About eight o'clock or can something. I can only imagine. Half seven. I bet, I bet his rounds like rammed, so he's had to start super early. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at our old house, the postman didn't ever turn up till lunchtime. Yeah. Uh, but here, they're, they're here first thing. Oh, re reseller kid's dad is a, a postman. All oh, right. Link up with Dave. Been a postie for 25 years. Al, I'm feeling supersonic. I've done all right. Sold weird old stuff people weren't interested in before. We're, we're, we're selling a selection. We Right from the start of this lockdown, we've sold a mixture of everything. We are selling clothes, even though I know a lot of people are, are not selling a lot of clothes. We're still selling a, a lot of clothes um, and toys, plush toys, uh, just a whole mixture, DVDs, media. Nick Irvine says, I've got an 18,000 jigsaw puzzle, brand new and sealed, recently recently sold for 400, so I need to get listed. 18,000, that's going to take forever. Yeah, I would not want to do Ooh, that. Rooster's joined us. Hi, Remy. Hello. Now, that would be my lovely niece that keeps sending me yummy little parcels through the post of cakes and homemade jam mm. and sweeties and stuff. Mm. Little darling, aren't you? She must be bored if she's come joining us. Can I have more chocolate next time, please? <laughs> yeah, he's at it. All. I've had the two dime bars. I've had the two mini rolls. What well, else did we have? Did I tell you I was right? Them lint things, they were coconut flavour. Huh. They were coconut flavour. It said flavor. latte on it. That's what I said, but they were coconut. Huh. So it wasn't the fact I was eating them whilst pissed on gin that made it different. All right. Can you not swear, please? Sorry. Do apologise, because I know that my nephew is in here as well, Lee. So I do apologise. 
How's the chat um, getting on? Rebecca Turner says, I've spent about £100 on jewellery, including my birthday presents, which I thought would I would never own. I thought I would never own. Okay. Uh, Carlo B, I've sold a live scribe Wi-Fi pen, got for free, sold for £104.99. Oh, that's a good sale. Woo! Yeah, especially when it costs you nothing, that's great. Yep. Alan's had his fastest sale ever listed, 11.23am, sold 12.17pm. Somebody had a save search on. Mm. Yep. Are you at the bottom of the chat? Uh... Just keep talking while I'm going through the chat, don't you, Wira? I don't know what to say now. <laughs> okay, let's look at some baseball jerseys. So, um, I bought... What are you going to say? No, I'm just saying... I just, I'm having to read what... In between people talking to them amongst themselves out, so I'm trying to pick right. out bits. That's so, I, mean. I bought a job lot of baseball jerseys, and um, they work out, including postage, it worked out three, almost dead on £3 each jersey which I thought was worth taking a chance. And you think, normally you'd think, baseball jerseys, that, there's not really a chance there at £3 each. But these are Japanese baseball jerseys. It's like Del Boy, isn't it? You know, you don't get normal stuff. You get, you know, it's not just baseball jerseys, it's bloody Japanese ones. But some of these are really unusual. Um, I'll show you a few. And they worked out at £3 each, so... I'm fairly sure I'm not going to lose on them. Um, now, I've listed four today. Um, this one. Now, look at the word on that. The bunlets. <laughs> I thought it said bun. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when you undo the button there, it looks like bun. <laughs> but it's actually bun. Bum or bun. Um, bunlets. <laughs> Hama, hamakashi. Hamakishi. Haman, Hamanishi, <laughs> number 99. Some of these are like amateur um, Japanese teams. Um, now, the, the bad side of these are really, really difficult to research. There's a lot in here. It's going to take me a while. I only managed to do four this morning because of the research time on it. And in the end, I had to just um, list them as sort of vintage... Um, Japanese baseball jersey with generic. the generic without a team name on because I just could not find the team names. This one in particular did, went up without a team name, so I just listed it as a a Japanese jersey with the name on it. So that one's listed. That one went up for thirty pound. Can we just wish Paradox Picker a happy birthday for yesterday? Happy birthday! They've just put it was their birthday. Yesterday post the parcels today at the post office and the ladies had made them a, made a, them a cake. Oh, that's so sweet. Good. What's that on there? I bought a GameCube games, £4.31 each, paid 112 26 games. Well pleased, sold 12, 10 or 12. Brilliant. Uh, Dale Boy definitely sprung to mind when I said Japanese. <laughs> um, okay, this is... This He's is, getting worse, seriously. This is really nice, but can I find this anywhere? It is, it's nowhere to be found, and I'll tell you why in a minute it isn't. It is... It's got New Yorker written on it. It's got a Japanese player's name, Kuki. That is actually a... Um, number seven, that is a player's name from Japan. Now, this logo, that is actually the Seattle Mariners logo. And actually, the New Yorker writing is in the same style as the Seattle Mariners. Now, but what we think this is, after I posted in uh, a US uh, Facebook group, the Thrifting Board, to ask for help, I think the general consensus is that this is a custom-made... Baseball jersey. Where they've mixed and matched. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think that's what it is. It's come from Japan. It's still come from Japan. It's got Japanese labels in it. So we, I think this is a custom-made jersey where you start off with a blank jersey and you get to choose what other bits you so have on. build a bear of jerseys. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so, but that's really nice. I really like that. It's it's a really nice top, really smart, and I think that one will sell. I've listed that high. I've, 
I had no clue. I've got nothing to compare it to. I put it at forty nine ninety nine. Going to be interesting to see. Rebecca how it goes. Turner said T shirts are expensive in Japan. And Nikki Irvine says those Japanese jerseys are a bargain. Three pound each. Um, well, this... it will be if he sells them. Yeah, I know that's <laughs> the thing, isn't it? Um, this one. This is one of the more well-known um, Japanese. This is from like the top league in Japan. So this is almost like the Major League Baseball in America. So this one is an Adidas. It's um, the Tokyo... What is it again? Tokyo Yum, Yumuri, Yumuri Giants. And it's an Adidas one. It's all official. Uh, it's got a name on the back as well. Sakamoto. John likes your shirts. This, this one is very unusual. Can't find the exact same one with the name on and everything. So this has gone up at forty nine ninety nine as well. Now, who knows? Maybe I'm being way too ambitious with the prices. But almost every one of these jerseys, I've got nothing to compare it to. There's not a single one like them on eBay. So... I'm just going to put a price on it. If someone makes me an offer, I'll, you know, I'll consider offers. Joan says, doesn't it really make you curious where did they come from? Oh, God, all We've the time. this conversation. Every we? time I buy these vintage kind of clothing bits and bobs and you see what comes in from them, you just think, how have they even got what here? What did you say to me? You went, do you think these have been have been sat in some Japanese charity shop and yeah. <laughs> ended up in a kilo sale? Because a lot of the... <laughs> Some of the clothing, and I found this with the cycling jerseys, a lot of those cycling jerseys had spent time on the shelf in Goodwills in America mm. because probably about 20 of the 100-odd that I bought had tags on from Goodwill. So they've obviously been for sale in Goodwill. They've not sold. So after a certain period of time, I think, they take them off the shelves and they rag them. So it's then when they get ragged that they end up in these big clothing warehouses where they, where they start getting filtered through into the vintage sort of sections, the vintage companies that then buy them by the, you know, bale load or by the, uh, what do you call it, the container load. Mm. Right. And then they just get shipped all over the world. So I, I just thought some of these might have, been, might have been in a Japanese charity shop. I don't even know if Japanese charity shops exist. Mr Diggs says he's working on getting some licensed T-shirts, Marvel TV film and music band T-shirts, all new at £1.50 to £2.50 each. That's cool. Um, and just jump in, I know there's a couple of bits in there I'm going to go back to, but Darren Hawkins has put, I've got a bundle of them today, mainly baseball and Japanese basketball teams Ooh. just researching now a minefield. Oh, I tell you what. You two need to hook up then. <laughs> researching these. I mean, let me just show you this one and I'll tell you about researching. This is actually not Japanese at all. This one's come through the net. This is Atlanta Braves. And it's a vintage Atlanta Braves. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the age on it, but I think it's... I think it's 90s, uh, but I've listed that 49 quid as well because there's nothing to compare it to. Um, but when I'm talking about what I've learned today in the short time that I've been researching these Japanese jerseys is Japanese sizing. I now, I now know the sizes. Um, so if you Google Japanese sizing chart or something like that, um, then you you can compare a Japanese size and a UK size because Japanese sizes um, are much smaller than ours because their population is much smaller. Um, so if you see something that's got a size O, that means that it's either a small or a medium UK. But it's always good to. I want to buy all my clothes from Japan, then, please. It's always good to um, <laughs> measure the the pit to pit be, to be sure what you're advising people. Because what I'm writing on my listings are, is that it's labelled as Japan O, um, estimated at UK small. I then put the pit to pit measurement. I put the collar to bottom measurement. And I put a line at the end saying, please check your measurements before you buy. Just to reiterate that these are different sizings. 
Uh, Kylo B says the Adidas will sell that top on its own. Uh, Reseller Kid's got a question. He says, I've always wondered why people put them at $29.99 and $10.99. Does it make them attract more attention from potential buyers or is it professional? Thanks. Uh, I think it's 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 the old retail psychology. That's all. It's the same reason that all the shops put nine ninety nine instead of ten pound because nine ninety nine puts it in. Is the, the psycho it's the psychology? Pound. It's people say, oh, it was less than a tenner, or people think nine pound. They don't think ten. It's just it. Pro I think it probably doesn't make a lot of difference, and because especially if you put postage on top anyway. That nine ninety nine doesn't really end up being is not nine ninety nine anyway, is it? Because your postage is on top. Uh, Al, I'm feeling super sad. It said thinks it's always best to start high, make sure store look good. I always start high anyway. I always, if I if I have no clue, then I'll I'll start at, at high, and if there is Comparable. something to compare, then I will still go in the top range. So if there was a jersey that was that I could see that was listed at £30, £40 and £50, I'd go close to 50 because you've got room for offers then as well. Yeah. You've got room for manoeuvre. If you start at 30 you've got no room because you're already the cheapest. So somebody will come in and offer you 20 if you put it at 30 and then you're like, well, you've pretty much got to decline it or you've got to and counter it. And it gives you room to reduce it if it's not selling as well. Exactly. And still get a decent price. Um, when I get to six months on a list, six months is the oldest listing you'll find in my store because when I'm at six months, I, I end and sell similar and I tweak a few bits. Sometimes I tweak which photo is number one. I'll tweak a bit on the title. Even if you're happy with the title, move something around. So where you've got a size, put the size in a different spot in the title. Or where you've got like a measurement, like say it's a 10 inch plush, put plush 10 inch, just so that the title is listed differently than what it was before. Uh, Darren says, I bought 100 of them in a lot from eBay, got another 25 kilograms of US jerseys coming tomorrow. Cool. The US jerseys are the best ones. Um, I'm always looking for the US uh, sports jerseys. <clears throat> but I, whenever I buy these job lots um, and vintage stuff, I only ever buy grade A because there's some there's some little minor bits of damage on these, and these are grade A, um, and there has been on other things. <clears throat> but you're really risking it if you go for grade B or less. I mean, anything less than grade B, and it's going to be rags anyway. But I always go for grade A. I'm not really interested in if it's not grade A because you're just going to get a load of rubbish. Uh, we've got Jason, the reselling game, Hi, Jason. who's joined us. Um, Paradox Picker says, I put my stuff on for 1998, so I'm higher in the search when they search cheapest first. That's clever. Yeah, that is. I'm going to go uh, 1997. <laughs> uh, I'll show you a few more of these jerseys. Um, this one's actually already it's still tagged. That's not even lost its tag. <clears throat> Again, a number on the back. I cannot find this team for love or money so again it's going to be a, a generic listing and can i just say there's a lot of chat in here regarding mr peter ray's big 30th birthday that's oh, coming bloody up hell, during yeah. lockdown so it looks like he's going to be doing a drinking with live uh, drinking with live drinking with, drinking andrew, with live drinking with andrew live on sat saturday to celebrate so yeah ah. we will be there have a happy we'll birthday peter have a good week as much as you can sat in the house i'll happily join you with a gin I'll show a few more of these off. This one's proper vintage. I think this one's got some real age on it. It's kind of sewn on. I wonder if anyone from the UK will end up buying any of these. Do you think anyone from the UK will buy any? Or mm. will they all go abroad? You were saying, weren't you, if you are a baseball fan. I just, think. Like, my, my youngest son is a massive football fan and he loves uh, collecting shirts from other countries. So it's not the you're not particularly that he supports the team. He just likes collecting the shirts. Yeah. Mean, that could be the same for. I mean, I think these are these are nice sort of sporting retro. They're very re they're really really retro style. These uh, sort of nineties early two thousands. Uh, so they've got real retro value. I think that somebody who likes that kind of wants to look different and wear something sporty that's 
unusual. I can find a decent one. They're all decent, but I'm trying to find some. I will. I will admit ones. this is one of the lots that arrived that he was. He pulled me out of the garden to come watch him unbox it, and we'd got through about 15, and I was like, "Can I go yet?" <laughs> But no, he made me. He made me sit and look at all fifty-four, and then watch him count them. I actually bought fifty, uh, but the guy gave me an extra four, which was nice of him. This one's quite a nice one. I, lo I like the shine on that. Look at that. Malts. The Suntory, the Suntory malts. Mm. Andrew Suzuki said he'd be a god in Japan with the size he is. Yeah, a giant. You would be, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, this is a I'd nice I'd be one. a giant. Impulse. Impulse. They're in great condition. I mean, I put one in the wash today, but other than that, they're not too bad. <laughs> Oliver and now you're having to see them all again. Yes, can you not see my disinterest? Yeah, no, you're just not asked, eh? <laughs> no. Not in the least bit interested. It's going to take me forever to get through these. Anyway, you know, to list them, it's going to take me a long time. Ooh, Al's putting a little um, cost, a little outfit together. He said they'd look good with a pair of dark jeans and Converse. That's what I mean. I think maybe Chris should start. I tried one them. on before, and it, it, they do look good. I think that they'll they'll appeal to fa sports and fashion sort of people. Spanners, yeah, you should wear that one. Mm. You spanner. And he keeps sticking them in the face, in my face. I don't know where they've been. Mets. It's not the Mets as you would imagine. It's the Mets from there Japan. Thank you, Andrew. He says, hang on, are we going through all 54 now? If so I'll go for a toilet break. Can I go for a toilet break too? There's an example. That's a Japan size zero. It's probably a UK small or medium. Right, anyway. We're all bored to death. Oh, let me show you that one. This is a cracker, this. I like this one. Look at this one. He gets, he gets so, like, excited. Look at the colours on it, though. Somebody's going to want that. Hopefully. This is, that's the plan. Does that say basketball? No, it's not basketball. It's the oh, no. baseball, baseball team. team. But it's a basketball. At least it's got a name of it. You see, it's got a name of a team on it. Because it's not always written across here, it's not always the team name. So, right. Alan says, I sold a 4XL Barussia Gladbat shirt to a supporter Br Brush in Ab 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 Abba Dabba. Bloody hell. I sold a 4XL San Francisco Giants jersey a couple of weeks ago. I think I might have shown it on one of the lives, but that was massive. Uh, but that went for 40 quid, I think. Um, Carl says your spanners, AK, your your admin's AK spanners should get that top. Uh, what, pieces of it each? <laughs> yeah. Oliver Ian was like, what number are we on now? And Georgina says they're all starting to look the same. <laughs> oh, you miserable sods. <laughs> look should, at this he's one. He's going to carry on now because we're all complaining. This has got Popeye written on it. This is why I like this one. It's got Popeye. It's kind of an olive colour. <laughs> God, you're funny. Oh, I missed that comment from Reseller Kid. I was just seeing what Peter Ray was answering to. Thank you, Peter. Any people on here actually meet face to face on here or just via YouTube? So, yeah, Peter's mentioned that they have had a couple of reseller meetups. Mm. Um, but we haven't managed to make it to one yet, have we? Well, we. We've met. Oh, have we met? No, we past? haven't been to one of the meetups. Oh, we've not meet been to a meetup. Ups, no. But we have met people, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, Andrew just randomly invites himself around for tea now and again. Um, who else have we met? And then obviously we've met a couple in America. We've met Nick and Andrea. Uh, Lee H Hopkins. Who came and bought some stuff off us. Yes, Lee Hopkins and um who else? 
I had somebody else in my head then, in my, in my head then, and it's booming gone. We've spoken to a few people on FaceTimes, haven't we? Yeah, we've done FaceTimes. People have wanted to contact us, and we've, you know, we've happily had FaceTime Oliver chats. and we've FaceTime. Well, we've had a chat with Ian. Yeah, so we, we've chatted with a few people. Uh, oh, um, thingy we met at the car boot. Oh, um, Mad Tata. Mad Tata, of course, yeah, Mad Tata. Yeah. Um, Even oh, if it was briefly. Very brief. Um, and also, I was going to say someone else as well. It's gone. <laughs> God, I need a haircut. Look at the state of this. Al Superman said, won't be long. We'll be watching Chris losing the plot in the garage trying to find the one he sold at the bottom of the pile. Oh, I'm already having this problem with my cycling jerseys. Do you know how all so colourful they are? That sounded like Yoda, didn't it? You know how <laughs> they're all so colourful? Um, looking in a clear box, right, which one is this? I'm like, oh my God, I had four to dig out. At least I could dig four out in one go. So When Chris says I'm going picking me orders, I put my vampire diaries on and make a brew because I know it's going to be a while. No, my system is terrible. Do not have a stock room like mine. One day I'm just going to have to bite the bullet or one week I'm going to have to just do a complete overhaul on it. Ooh. I just can't face it. Georgina knows the clothing. She said, important question, is my jumper from Zara? It is. Or, somebody bought it from Zara. I bought it from a charity shop in Kingsbridge. But I mm. love it. It's one of my favourite jumpers. It's got a very big cleavage on it. I'm just looking there now. Look. It's got <laughs> a very big cleavage. It covers all the lumps and bumps. I mean, it comes right down. Stop looking at my cleavage and thanks, don't point it out now. You've got Andrew looking over the top of his screen, trying to see if he can see down there. Uh, what have we got on the chat? Uh, it's just some chat about hopefully people wanting to do a resell and meet up at the end of the year. Let's hope. That's optimistic. Let's hope that we can... How about 2024? <laughs> we might be able to have one. Uh, Kyle B says he's flying over from Ireland if the Hitchin one goes ahead this year. Uh... Who else is up in the north, northeast? There's someone. There's someone else up in the northeast, but I can't. The name has left me. I don't know, but I'm going to reiterate: no meeting people in person on your own, even if yes. they are resellers. We do not know who these people are. They could turn out to be like Andrew. <laughs> and they could want feeding. <laughs> I miss having Andrew round for tea. Do you miss having Andrew round for tea? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course we do. Of course yeah. we do. And when we're when lockdown's finished, you're more than welcome. Yeah, you can join the queue of people wanting to come and yeah. Airbnb at our house. You can you can book in. Uh, I think that's it. Andrew, that's what you said last time when I said to oh. uh, to uh, the reseller kid not to not to go meet you. What? You said, oh, FFS, right. <laughs> I'm not a pedo. No, we told him we're not, but you still don't want to be meeting a 15-year-old boy on his own, do you? <laughs> Neither would we. Um... Carlo B said, isn't Lainey up there somewhere? She's got a, a new key accent, hasn't she, Lainey? Oh, yeah, she's up there at New Key. Newcastle. Newcastle, yeah. She's up like, is she Middlesbrough or something like that? So, Lainey. yeah, Lainey's up there. Yeah. My auntie's up there. My auntie's in, where's my auntie? County Durham. Is Andrew the reason we moved? <laughs> <laughs> Are we coming if the hitching one does happen this year? Well, it depends when it is, doesn't it? What, sorry? I missed If the that. hitching one goes ahead this year, are we going? Who knows? Yeah. Maybe. The only reason we haven't gone to the others is they've just not fell right. I think one of them was when we was at eBay, wasn't it? Um, and then obviously yes. the Manchester one was being planned and then we decided to move away. No, yeah. co Not a coincidence whatsoever. But it got cancelled anyway. But it got cancelled anyway. So I would like to go to one and meet everybody. Maybe we it's should nice organise. We should, names, we should organise a Devon meet up. Ooh. 
There's a few down this way. Uh, Mr. Diggs says that there's a meet up on his bucket list one day. Bucket list? <laughs> yeah. Come on, not your bucket list. County Durham. <laughs> Oliver and Reese are a kid would need would require counselling after meeting the legend Andrew. You would need what counselling? We need counselling. <laughs> we all need counselling after meeting Andrew. Um, and, and Andrew needs counselling after meeting Eric. Oh yeah, he got absolutely <laughs> terrified by a six-year-old. That was funny. Uh, Georgina says she thinks that she's in Sunderland, Blaney. Nikki says yeah, Sunderland, Sunderland. Oh, Sunderland, Sunderland, that was it. Yeah, not Middlesbrough. All Laney stalkers see. Um, Devon meetup sounds good. I'm originally from Plymouth. Mm. And it's so pretty around here. We could just literally find a field. Tori to says. Sit in. Tori says she'd come down and meet us. Yay! Does Laney have a YouTube? When I'm uh, yes, she does have a YouTube. She does quizzes on a Tuesday night. Don't she, she doesn't resell anymore, does she? She used to do. She definitely did used to be a reseller, but I'm not sure if she does just dabble a little bit now, maybe. Yeah, but she's still a wealth of knowledge she's to tap into. She's still very much part of the reselling community, and she does quizzes Tuesday night, so look out for the quizzes. Oh, reseller kids. County Durham is very close to there. If you look... Chester Lee Street, she's in. Hmm. Uh, Lainey's channel is called Big Girls Really Do Cry, so you could search for that. Yeah. Uh, Peter said he met Andrew twice. Uh, last time it was mad but fun. I wouldn't expect anything else. I think the last time we met Andrew was Christmas, wasn't it? He came when we, he'd come to a meeting in Manchester oh, yeah, he, and then got stood up. Yeah. <laughs> he, and what happened last time was Andrew uh, texted me or something and he said, oh, I'm in Manchester and I, I was supposed to meet someone uh, or something and we ended up going to meeting him, didn't we? Well, no, we were going to the police Christmas carol thing oh, yes. with, with our mums and dads. Uh, with our mums and dads, with our mums. So both our mums got to meet Andrew as well. Oh, no, the last time we saw Andrew was my 40th. Oh. He came to the village. Was building, that the most yeah. recent? Yeah, that was January. Oh, right. Okay. See, we've seen you... Four that, times? We've seen you that many times, Andrew, no. that I can't remember. And I will tell you now... Uh, I've just received a load of photographs through the post that I had printed off and one of them was of me, you and Chris. I'll pin it up on Chris's wall somewhere for you. Hmm, thanks. <laughs> uh, Andrew says it'll involve a lot of travelling for me but I'll make the hard journey. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to do something then. Carl said he used to holiday in Paynton. Don't think you'd want a holiday there now, that's all I can say. Yeah, Paynton's a little bit rough. Apologies if anyone in the chat is from happens to be from painting, but um, it's it's the one name that pops up quite a lot when it involves criminal activity. Yeah, it's it's a little bit uh, more busy than most areas in. in oh, Denmark. Georgina's going to travel anywhere for me. Can we go to Hawaii then, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you pay for it to go? Because Georgina's loaded anyway, isn't she? Yeah, I believe so. And to be fair, have you seen Tori's garden that she was... I nearly said trimming then. That's that came out <laughs> wrong, that, didn't it? Sorry, Tori. Uh, garden that she was sorting out. It was amazing. Yeah, I think she lives in a mansion. Oh, my God. Why are you even reselling, Tori? You don't even need to bother. <laughs> uh, Lucy Rose says, has the song been on a bit late? No, yeah. not yet. We're making people wait. Um, we're going to do it in a... Um, Maybe on the hour. We're ten minutes. Yeah. Andrew says he doesn't remember meeting this Eric person. It must have been someone impersonating him. <laughs> <laughs> you need to meet him in person. That's what you need to do. That would be hilarious, them two together. That would be a video well worth making. Uh, Carl says, I'm 46. My parents used to take us there as kids, so 40 years ago may have been a good spot. Well, in... No, Peyton's not part of the English Riviera, is it? Um, but it's kind of on the same side. What are you growling at? <laughs> what are you growling at? Come here. But yeah, I mean, something. we did kind of have a quick look through painting when we were looking for we places through. to and we walked through it to we? stay, didn't we? And that was one of the things where we were kind of put off because the town centre was just more like 
walking through Stockport Town Stockport. Centre sort of thing. There was yeah. nothing. Or like Southport or something. I wouldn't even say Southport. No, Southport's maybe not that quite good. nice. <laughs> Blackpool. Yeah. Um, but it's like yeah, anywhere Blackpool. else, isn't it? Sometimes it can just get a bit too touristy yeah. and then it gets... Oh, Nikki goodness. says painting has a huge drug problem nowadays. Mm. Mm, yeah. Gorton was nice 40 years ago, according <laughs> to all of you. Yeah, it was. Didn't your sister used to live there? My sister lived there, yeah, for a bit. It weren't that nice when she lived there, so you know. It's bloody horrible. <laughs> My great granddad lives in painting. Sorry, I knew somebody would bloody live there. There are nice parts there, honestly. To be fair, we bought our um, two single beds for the back room from a place in Paynton and they were kind oh, of they weren't in lovely, the centre. They it? weren't in the centre. They were up at the back, and the view you got when you came down the hill. I mean, it was like a steep hill, but the view as you came over the top of the coastline was stunning. Mm. Absolutely stunning. No, that was that was a really nice spot there, wasn't it? Paynton Zoo. Yeah, that's correct. Has he got a zoo? Yeah. See, we've not got as far as being able to find these things out. Move to Hampshire, it's lovely. That's Nikki. I think moving to Devon will be happy with Devon at the minute. (laughs) We've not even seen Devon yet. No. Well, we have. We've been here before, but... I live in... um, No, Rebecca said my great granddad lived in Paynton. Oh. Lives. Lived. They had a zoo. No, they do still have a zoo. Oh, have they? Let me see what that dog's doing. I think she might be on the tissues again. Hang on a minute. Hold the, hold the fork. <sighs> Our dog's got a tissue fetish. So if you chuck anything in the bin in, in the bedroom... What are you doing? You know, if Chris dispenses any of his used tissues in the bedroom, um, Cookie tends to dig them out, shred them and leave them all over the bedroom for us. I've all I've given you all images now that you'll never be able to get out of your head. What are you on about tissues all over the <laughs> I said when you get rid of your dispensed tissues in the bedroom. <laughs> nice. Thanks for that. Oh. Let's just have a look, make sure. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, come on, you're not keeping them very entertained, are you? What's that above your head? What, this? This is our microphone. I brought it down because Annabelle's not projecting herself well enough today. I project myself just fine, thank you very much. Kent's where it's at, apparently, according to Georgina. Andrew's got a tissue fetish. Best to never touch them. How do I retract a comment? <laughs> well, I've got red things all over the bottom of my screen telling me something's not right. Danger, danger, end stream, danger. I know, yeah. Have we got a computer virus? don't know, but I don't like red things shouting at me. Right, I think... We should put people out of their misery and show all we can't the nice do it. folk in the chat what we've... What we can't do it until we get 100 people in the in the stream. Oh, shush. Just get on. We'll be waiting until 2024. Stop being distracted by the dog. She's having a go at something. Well, if it'll be fine. We'll clear it up. Cookie. Come here. Right, so, all right then, let's do this. So, for months, we've been working on this little project. And it's been on and off, because it takes a bit of time. Yeah, the on and off bit is, Chris has been trying to get Belle on board. Mm. (laughs) Um, So, we've been working on this little project. And what we did was, are you all aware of the Weird Al Yankovic song ebay song um i think you'll probably all know it um 
And what we've done is we've rewritten. Is she stuck somewhere? <laughs> Cookie. We've rewritten that song. We've left a few lyrics in that are suitable, but we've pretty much rewritten most of it. And we recorded the song um, and we've made a video for it as well. And it was a bloody nightmare making that, wasn't it? Well, it's it was kept a lot us, of fun, but it was kept, a... It's kept us entertained. Oh, it's taken us if days. If you'd seen Chris's face, you wouldn't have thought it was fun some of the times. He was getting well no. stressed out. It was stressing me out. Well, it, it was it was good fun. Um, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. Just have a laugh. Don't. We're not taking ourselves serious at all, because neither of us can sing. I can't sing, and she can't sing. <laughs> Um, no, Chris sounds like a choir boy compared to me. Uh, no, no, I can't sing either. I know I can't. So it's just for fun. That's all it is. A bit of light relief um, in these dull and repetitive days that we have at the moment. Any chit chat? Just some people have heard of Weird Al. Some people haven't. Some people like it. So never yeah. heard of it, Adrian. Right. What you need to do is when you've listened to ours. In fact, when this stream is over, I'll be uploading the official video on um, on it, on YouTube. And there's a link in there to the original Weird Al Yankovic song. Um, so you can go and listen to that after hours. But all I can say is enjoy it. If you like it, share it around. Let's see if we can um, get it get it moving. I'm gonna send it to a, I'm gonna send it tomorrow to a, a contact we have at eBay just to see what they think of it. I'm just gonna like hide my gonna shame. Gonna die. I'm yeah, just seriously. gonna hide my shame in tissue. I think have we built it up enough now at how bad this is? Oh god! How many backup dancers? Move over. Captain Tom here's Chris and Bell's, Bell's new, new number, number one. one. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Serious to God. Um, should we just play it? Oh god. We might not be here when it comes, when we finish, we might have gone. <laughs> and we might not ever be able to show our faces again. No. Can I apologise to both my sons now, before they ca we catch wind of this, because they have no idea on what we've done, and they are, well, they're never going to be allowed back in public again. They're going to want this virus to last forever. <laughs> oh, let's just do it, come on. <laughs> right, come on then. Are we ready? Come on then. Are we ready? Should we do it? <laughs> no. No, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's not do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Go on. Hit that Should button. Should we do it? Hit that button. Can't be worse than the ad song. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was funny, that ad song. It's funny. And I can't do it. Seriously, do it. I can't Just press do it. it. Which one I can't. Is it? No, don't. Which one is it? Let's. No, we can't do it. No. You Every... invited me for freaking months to do this. Get you know that what? button pressed. No, I think we just scrapped the whole thing. I'm. I'm having cold feet. Let's not do it. I'm going to stick my cold feet in your face if you don't <laughs> press that button. Oh God, get it. I'm just winding you all up. Come on, I'm just winding you. Right, let's go. Let's go. You ready? Right, turn your volume up now. I'm giving you a five second warning. Turn your volume up, listen, have a laugh, enjoy at our expense. I'll tell you what we sell on eBay. Yeah. A toy called Gizmo Zippy from Rainbow a CD by his said we sold them on eBay. My house is filled.
Can you not try and get rid of the red and then try it again? There's, I've got issues. I've got issues with the connection. This is what I was saying before. It's got the frame detection's terrible at the moment. Turn that off. Yeah, no, no point in continuing playing that. Shall I try and go on Wi-Fi instead? I've got the full 4G on there. There's no point in looking at it confused and thinking, why is it not working? Just try the Wi-Fi and see if it's any different. I know, but I might even lose the entire stream if I flick to Wi-Fi. But then we didn't just come back on. Right, I'm going to try and switch to Wi-Fi, guys. I'm going to try and switch to Wi-Fi and see if it's better. Sorry about that. I tested it. It was fine, but I've told you I've got all these red things coming on here. Turn Wi-Fi. Somebody said upload it separately. Maybe it can't stream and play well at the same time. Yeah, possible. Copy it into the chat. 